Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. Nigerians across the country have been staging protests against the activity of SARS, which has led to the disbandment. But shockingly, the northern governors are emphasizing that SARS rule in fighting banditry cannot be underestimated. According to Governor Simon Lalong, he said that the operative of SARS have been very useful in fighting insurgency in the northern part of Nigeria. And Lalong also noted that what was needed was the reformation of the unit to enable it to carry out its function functions optimally, adding that they were divisions in the country regarding the continued existence of the unit. But guess what? The unit has already been disbanded. But however, despite all of what they have been able to say, trying to convince Nigerians of the need for um, SARS to still be in existence, a former senator, Senator Shehu Sani, who uh, represented uh, Kaduna State in the 8th Senate, has come up to ask them a very important question, question which I believe they may not have answers to it. A public commentator, he's called Ashe Usani, alambasted the northern governors over their support for SARS. The former senator condemned their declaration of support for the special anti-robbery squad, which is now defunct. The government critic tweeted in his reaction on Friday. According to him in his tweet, he said, Dear Northern Governors, if SARS is working in the North, why has kidnapping and killing by bandits and terrorists continue unabatedly? Hashtag end SARS noun. And uh, this has really shocked most people because if you look at what uh, the northern governors had said and the way they went about it, it was as if, uh, you know, they would not allow the, the, the importance of SARS is so glaring and uh, no one can oppose it in the north. But from what this guy has said, Senator uh, Shehu uh, Sani has said, it's an indication that... They, they were not as, as effective as Governor Lalong had said, because if they were effective, the progressional um, increase in the number of banditry in Nigeria wouldn't have gotten to the level it is currently. Because if you're looking at the issue of insecurity in Nigeria, it's increasing on a daily basis. Fortunately, I may say it's not a remitically, but geometrically, it just keeps on moving higher and higher. We hear cases of cause of death on a daily basis. And then you're talking about that SARS had done something very reasonable. Why didn't you request for them? Why didn't you tell uh, Nigerians that let the uh, minister who is, uh, that, sorry, the uh, minister of defense, let him be pushed aside and let the commissioner of police recruit more of SARS people to come and help you fight it. You know, that is what we would have heard. But thus far, none of them have made that request. You know, they've never made that request. There had never even been a time where I see any of the governors comparing side by side the military as the soldiers with the SARS guys. We've never seen it for one. So why are you all of a sudden trying to tell Nigerians that uh, uh, it's wrong for SARS to be, you know, to be curtailed, that they have, they were very great guys and all of that. And guess what? That reaction from Shehu Sani, the former senator of Kaduna State, as we got reactions from different quarters, I'm going to read some of the things that Nigerians have to say. This one said, I thought SARS was disbanded. What else do you want? I have never expected such words. And this one said, I wish confirmation can be made. If confirmed, we can make flags in its thousand. I don't know what that one means. This one here says, it is because people li like doesn't see anything good about others, especially who denies them the opportunity to continue enjoying the luxury of green chambers. You are visiting Kaduna by road. That's why you would not understand that SARS are working in the north. Now, a northerner is replying, uh, Shehu Sani, that uh, uh, the SARS, the importance of SARS, according to Lalong, is actually true. That why Shehu Sani uh, cannot really... Can, his words cannot be taken seriously because he has not been using the road to see how much SARS have been working. 
And another person here say, yes, they live on Twitter or they will be very stupid not to. This is the 21st century. Is there any of them that doesn't have personal and official Twitter account, including several social media aids? They live on Twitter. No, no, that one. Another person here says, allow the clowns. They are all scared. Nigeria, after first October, have entered another phase of bigger than an individual. Thank God they never took the youth seriously during their formation. An average Nigerian youth is a star. The last one I'm going to consider before we now look at this issue is uh, this other one. He said the number of bandits and other criminals being paraded on almost weekly basis is enough proof to show that SARS and police are working in the north. This one says they should ask for NSAS. That's not SARS, not federal SARS. If they are doing fine in the north, good for them. They are causing more harm than good here in the south. They should ask federal government to deploy all the SARS members to the north. I think that's a very good suggestion. And um, this one here says there are limits to what everyone can do. There are limits to what everyone can do, and that's true. Ask your governor first and don't generalize. Why didn't you use your position as a senator to demand change of service chief who fell woefully to cop the heinous act of Boko Haram and banditry? We definitely need a better rejig of entire security architecture in Nigeria. You can see that people are really, really talking in. But let, let's look at uh, this issue side by side because um, uh, if we must be truthful to ourselves, we, Nigerians have long list of uh, victim of the activities of SARS. I, I, I would say without any iota of uh, uh, respect for anybody that uh, not all the SARS were bad SARS. Yeah, that's true. Not all of them. But unfortunately, um, many of them, especially in the South, were actually using every opportunity they have to extort money from Nigerians and to create some kind of fear. Uh, you know, I call it SARS fear, such that when they just show up, even the guilty and the non-guilty will be scared because they do not respect whether you are good or you are bad. They just deal with everybody. You understand? But in the North, I can't say that uh, SARS w were not effective there. I, I don't know. But the truth is that um, as much as we will say that they were effective, but their impact will not feel or felt, sorry, their impact will not felt as expected. Because if truly um, SARS was, their presence was something to really write home about, um, the, the level of issues that were happening in the north would have been reduced to its barest minimum. I'm talking about cases of banditry, terrorism, kidnapping, you know, our women being used and dumb and all of that. It would have reduced drastically. But on a daily basis, we noticed that it was increasing. Okay, look at what happened in Kaduna fairly, fairly recently. Let's forget about whatever thing that had happened thus far. Look at what happened in Kaduna. As I'm talking about South, Southern Kaduna, where people were massacred despite the fact that they were, they was coffee. Why was SARS not being useful during that time? Why didn't they prove to Nigerians? The only people that kind of put things really under check as a den in the north, based on the information that we were hearing, was actually the soldiers. They're the only ones who were able to cop a lot of things. But hey, for uh, SARS, nobody really felt or nobody talked so much about them in the north. I'm so shocked that the governor is coming out to, you know, say what he's saying right now. But for me, I feel that uh, those who are really sure of what they're saying, they should square out and answer uh, the question that uh, the senators and the senator she will, uh, uh, Sani is asking them. That if truly these guys are were this useful, why is it that you people were complaining the non-effectivity of security in your area. Why was that complaint constantly there? Why was it that we see long list of our own policemen and also soldiers being killed on a daily basis? Because I feel that if the police soldiers were effective and also SARS were effective and they joined forces together, they would have been able to, you know, counter a lot of things. So I, I, for me, I, I feel that uh, there is no truth to it. But though I would say 
not all SARS guys are bad guys, you know. Some of them are very good. Some of them are, they know their responsibility and they do everything to ensure they protect life and property. That cannot be taken away from them. But unfortunately, um, one bad egg has ended up destroying the whole thing. And here we are, Nigerians. We are looking at revolution, or, or sorry, um, protests, and it's almost transforming to call it revolution or revival, like the video would say. And well, but however, that's where we like to leave. It is a question for the northerners to answer. How true is it? Do you think that SARS were overly?